Okay, we're going to demonstrate how to install Renegade hoof boots. This particular boot is a Renegade Viper. Uh, it's the same method whether you're installing a Viper or the classic Renegade. So boots come with the straps down. To install the boot, you have to undo the top pastern strap, then the tension strap. You pull the captivator down out of the way. Pick your foot up. Slide the boot on. Tap the nose of the boot to seat it. And what you want to do is you want to center the frog on the horse with the frog shape on the bottom of the boot. From there you pull the captivator up and set the foot on the ground. Once the foot is on the ground, you need to position the captivator. And to do this, reach both hands from the front of the leg, filling the back of the captivator. What you want to do is you want to fit the geometry shape of the captivator with the hill bulbs on the horse. So the boot could be installed improperly by having the captivator far too high or in some cases too low if you have high hills. So fitting the captivator to what you believe is the best position, you then need to pull tension on your tension strap. When pulling tension, you can't just pull tension on one side, you have to pull tension on both sides. From there, you need to do the pastern strap up. To do the pastern strap, you feed it underneath, back across, and making sure that you always have a two finger gap between the pastern strap and the pastern on the horse. You then tuck the end underneath the rubber keeper loops. Your boot is installed. All right, to remove your boot, it's basically the reverse of installing it. Undo your pastern strap. Undo your tension strap. Pick the foot back up. Pull your captivator down, and then the boot will just slide off. It's then good practice to keep your boot with the straps down like the boot, was, boot came. It's best to store them out of the weather, out of the sun, and keep them clean.